morning everyone waking up it is monday it's a new week you guys i feel like it's going to be a busy week um it is also homecoming week for mason so he has homecoming you know the football game on friday he's got the dance on saturday with that being said we literally ordered um, a bow tie last night hopefully that'll get here he still needs a shirt to wear um, so we're gonna have a busy week of trying to hopefully find him something to wear to the dance on Saturday. It's a big game today for baseball. You guys, if you've been following along, you know uh, the Diamondbacks have to beat the Phillies today or their season is over and the Phillies move on to the World Series. Been so fun watching these two teams battle it out. Jack and I battling it out. Um, last night we were watching the Astros Rangers game because depending on who won that game, determine what time the our game was gonna be today. So unfortunately, or maybe you guys are Rangers fans and you're excited, but they won last night. So they're going to game seven tonight. So they get the evening slot and we get the afternoon slot. So that stinks because like I said before, we've gotten the two o'clock game before. People work, people have school, like it's gonna be hard. Um, Jack actually has a doctor's appointment today, so I don't know if the Bevos are going to be able to watch the game today, but we will be checking our phones and all the things, and Jack's really going to try to get into his doctor's early, and we'll see. So stay tuned to see if we'll be able to watch the game or not. Um, but right now i got to make sure Mason is up, because it's Monday. He's got to get to school. It's going to be a crazy week, so stay tuned. Let's have a good week. Hello, Mason. Yo. Mason just got home from school and we have like a couple hours so I think we might run out and try to find a shirt for him for homecoming. Um, I really don't want to go to the mall so I'm hoping some stores in the area we might be able to find something. He also needs some dress socks and like I said his bow tie should be delivered today. Not quite here yet. Fingers crossed it's the right color and all things. If not we're going to have to return that and go shopping for that as well but should we head out real fast? In a couple hours, we got this. We made it to the store. So we have Marshalls, TJ Maxx, um, Ross, but Ross is so hit or miss. Um, so we're gonna go in there. I think we can at least find dress socks for Mason. There is a Kohl's down the street as well. So we might have to go there, but see what we can get. These stores, he's also shopping for a birthday gift. So we're gonna try to um, get all of this done really quick. We'll see about that. We have the entire week if need be, but are you ready? Yeah. All right. Which store first? Well, there's Marshall's. Maybe we should go see what they have. Probably the one in front of us. Okay. Of course, no luck on a shirt for him, but he got some birthday gift stuff, so that was good. I think we're gonna head to Kohl's real fast. Um, fingers crossed we can find a shirt there. Well, we are definitely striking out. I think the problem is, is A, we waited the last second. That's on us. B, Mason's homecoming is like probably what, one of the last ones oh, yeah. to go? Like end of October, most everybody in the area has already had their homecoming. So I think everywhere is just wiped out. So thankful for Amazon and praying that once everything arrives, it's the quality that Mason wants. Um, the problem we're having is Mason, I, I said that we have all week, but technically not because he has baseball practice all week. So there's that. So we just literally in Kohl's went on Amazon and ordered some socks for him and a shirt. And like I said, his bow tie is supposed to get here at some point today. I think my time slot was like from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. So should be at our house by the time we wake up, hopefully. And um, if worst case scenario, if he doesn't like it, if it's not fitting, all the things, bad quality. The only time we will have to go to like a men's warehouse or the mall is going to be Friday as soon as Mason gets home from school and we'll have to get it all done before the football game because obviously he wants to go to the homecoming football game that night. So that's doable. We could do that. But hopefully we don't have to because that's a lot of stress and the dance is Saturday. So, ah! <laughs> Why did we wait last minute? We've been a little bit busy watching playoff baseball, so it's all on us. Mason, why have we been sitting on the couch instead of shopping? 
but we'll see. So everything should arrive by tomorrow and we'll piece it all together hopefully. But all right, one more stop to Walmart to get a couple things for the birthday gift. And then I think we did it. I think we did it within our time period. So good job. It kind of went good, kind of not, but we figured it out, right? I think it's gonna be fun. <laughs> all right. Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I'm not gonna lie. I just got out of the shower, my hair's so wet. I almost put on the same shirt that I wore yesterday because if you guys don't know, the Dimebacks played amazing last night and beat, well I say last night, like I said yesterday, the game was the afternoon game, um, but they beat the Phillies in Philly. What? I will be the first to admit, I was not confident. I was not confident at all and Jack kept yelling at me like, Chrissy, it's not over until it's over. Why aren't you confident? But they did it. So Jack obviously has mixed emotions. Uh, I think he thought that the Phillies were gonna close it out and they were headed to the, the World Series last night. But mm -mm, not so fast, Jack. So tonight is game seven. Wow, who would have thought that this series would have gone seven games? I am so excited for the game tonight. And then last night uh, when we got home, we ended up watching the t uh, Rangers and the Astros game and congratulations to the Rangers fans. You were headed to the World Series. Amazing, that one, that series went seven games too. That's all that you want. Like you want good baseball series to go out the whole time and we got it. That's so fun. But anywho, speaking of baseball tonight, I'm, gonna about, I'm about ready to run to the store because I think I'm gonna put spinach tortellini soup in the crock pot. That way dinner will be made and we can sit and watch baseball tonight and I don't have to worry about dinner. Speaking of soup, if you guys from Arizona, you guys know we're so excited. I think, I think the weather people on the news are saying we are done with the 100. So yesterday was in the 80s. I think today's supposed to be in the 80s. Is it finally sweater weather? <laughs> soup in the crock pot, even though I've been kind of doing that already. Um, so yeah, I gotta get to the store because the soup needs to cook all day. But yeah, oh my gosh. Ah, go D-backs. How you feeling? We're standing already. <laughs> <laughs> I said he's feeling confident. Look what shirt he's wearing. His sister sent him that Got a shirt out. last year when they made it to the World Series. So, And she said that they're greasing the poles already. Yeah. So She witnessed it firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> Well, win or lose, they got to grease the bowl. <laughs> right, and Billy, like, win or lose, they're going to go crazy. So, I'm nervous. <laughs> Poor Mason, you guys, he's off to practice. I think he's just hitting practice, so he's hoping that he gets out, like, right away so he can come home and watch the end of the game. Um, but my soup is ready. I thought I'd show you since I talked about it. it smells good. As soon as Jack walked in from um, work, he's like, ooh, that smells good. There you go. I've got Caesar salad and some garlic bread in the oven. But here we go. Game just started. Let's go D-backs. <laughs> I can't breathe. What a game, first of all. Second of all, one more out. And then dying backs or going to the World Series. I can't breathe. I think I watched most of this game underneath the blanket or with my hands over my eyes because I couldn't watch. This is crazy. You okay, Mace? Yeah. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Lots of foul balls. He's battling. For what it's worth, he's battling. Count is one, two. Come on, seaweed. I call him seaweed. I've been calling him Seedweed this whole season. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Carol. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Celebrate, boys. Oh my no. Holy crap. Jack. I'll be fine by Friday. Yeah. Yes. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you can take your time, Jack. I get it. I get it. Holy crap. Oh, I could not There's believe no it. There's no one. Really I'll be the first to admit, you guys, like I said earlier today, I, I didn't think they were going to do it in Philly. They figured it out somehow, Mason. I know. Like, they I figured it out. I don't know how to feel. <laughs> it's like, well, 
Let's go D-backs. Bring on the Rangers. Let's see, game one I believe is Thursday. Friday or Thursday? Friday. Friday, game one Friday. Please win Get the Rangers. Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Yes, I'm still smiling. Yes, I'm still on a high. <laughs> like, I cannot believe what happened last night. How was school today? This guy just walked through the door. It was good. Good, good. Mace, was good. you know what? Yeah. Hmm. We have to say sorry to dad, but no. it's time to retire this whoa, guy. Whoa. Until next season. Be careful now. We have to put him away. That's it. D backs won last night. It's okay. Game over, Phillies. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. Oh, you tired. Represent. We stayed up late last night. Not too late, but we did watch some of the news, um, the coverage and stuff of the D-backs fans celebrating the win last night. But Mason is home. I think we're about ready to head out to the store. Um, I need to get donations for baseball. Tis the season. The snack shop needs donations. You know, chips, water, candy, Gatorade, soda, all the things. So I think I'm gonna run to Sam's Club to get that, and Mason needs flowers. So while we're out, we're gonna grab all of that. And then he does have baseball practice tonight. And what the heck are we gonna watch? I was talking to Jack this morning while he was driving into work. Basketball. and No, but the Suns played yesterday. Did the Sixers play tonight, maybe? Because so, yeah. <laughs> the Suns played the Warriors last night. We did flip back and forth a little bit to watch that. Um, but I'm like, what the heck? Definitely no baseball, so basketball is back, so we'll probably find a game or catch up on a show. Back from Sam's Club, probably one of the smallest Sam, Sam's Club halls ever. I did that on purpose because I only went for the donations and flowers, but of course ended up with a couple things. Decided to donate chips for baseball, and of course when you go with your kid, he found that when we first walked in, so you guys, apparently there's a new flavor. Excited for that? And then I was all out of olive oil, so pick that up. Mason found, I said this is for Christmas, right? And we got Christmas right around the corner. But he found some Hurley shorts and this cool looking fleece, which he does need stuff. He is wearing long sleeves right now, but um, he does need winter clothes pretty bad because he just doesn't fit anything. And of course, look how pretty his flowers are. He got his flowers. That's it. <laughs> and I think we spent under $100, which is hard to do when you go to Sam's Club, but we did it. <laughs> so is the caramel one caramel flavored? Or the whatever, Carmella, I think, what was it called? This one, this is new. She's a creeper. Ooh. You guys like these cereals? I don't know why, my boys love them. Count Chocula Me is and Dad dad's like love Count Chocula. favorite. Yeah, I think he used to eat it when he was a kid or something. Yeah. But uh, I also saw like blueberry. Booberry. <laughs> the names are cute. And this one's brand new. So. Yeah. And they're kind of like mini, so it works out. Yeah, it works out. They don't go stale before this you eat the whole box. This will go down first. <laughs> I know it will. I know Dad will definitely. Oh, yeah. Happy Thursday, everyone. It is actually kind of late on Thursday. Um, Mason's about ready to get dressed to head to baseball practice. That's how late it is. But you guys, speaking of Mason, I got a sneak peek of, I talked about it earlier in this vlog, we went shopping. Homecomings this week, homecoming dance is Saturday. Everything worked out that we ordered. He put on his entire fit and he said thumbs up. So, because I was so nervous something wasn't gonna fit or look right and we would be shopping again tomorrow because tonight is his last night of um, baseball practices so for the week. So we could have gone out tomorrow when he got home from school if need be, but it looks like we are good. So thankful for that. And then after he tried on his outfit, he literally has been working on an essay for college English, um, like for hours. <laughs> um, I think he works on it, takes a break, works on it, takes a break, but he was just talking to Jack about it. I think he's doing a cause and effect essay um, over the baseball steroid use or something like that. He was just talking to Jack as they were going upstairs. But anyways, it is Thursday. We're moving along. We're almost to the weekend. Excited for this weekend. You guys, we have a busy weekend. Since we have a busy weekend, this dog is overdue for a bath. I hate giving him a bath late in the day because he takes forever to dry. But Ace, are you stinky boy? Do you want a bath? 
And yes, we still have this lovely, I think, I think I saw a few sprouts in our grass. So maybe a couple more days and hopefully that will be popping up and then eventually we'll mow it and get all the manure. That's why that towel's down so Ace doesn't track it into our house, but our winter grass is slowly but surely coming in. But anyways, just a little update. Jack and I, I think we're gonna cook dinner eventually and no baseball on again. Tomorrow is game one of the World Series, so we'll figure something out to do besides right now giving that stinky dog a bath. Ace. Are you mad? Look at his curls, you guys. He's not mad because he loves baths. He absolutely does awesome for baths. He's mad because he's in jail. You ask, why is he in jail? Because if you watched our vlogs before when we give Ace a bath, he likes to go on our couch and dry off on the couch. Like goes crazy with the pillows, the blankets, all the things. And you guys know we have a brand new couch. So I'm like, mm -mm, not gonna happen. Not today. The couch is still brand new, Ace. <laughs> Maybe a few months from now I won't care because the couch won't be new, but it's brand new, so it's not gonna happen. So he's hanging out with me in the kitchen while I cook dinner, and it's almost done. In fact, I need to pull the rolls out of the oven. But before I do that, you guys, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Jack is actually editing right now. We have plenty of clips for this vlog because it is homecoming week. We have football tomorrow, World Series game tomorrow. We have a busy weekend ahead, so I don't think, we're, whatever we do on Friday, we might put into our, our weekend vlog. So stay tuned for that, including Mason's homecoming, senior homecoming. Oh. Um, don't forget to like this video, comment something in the comment section, subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. We will see you next time.